Hello, children of the internet. It is I, Foggy Senor, and welcome once again to Let's Play Deus Ex. I am here in Hong Kong, and everybody is standing very, very still. In the previous episode, uh, we made contact with Tracer Tongue at the Luminous Path compound. I am now 100% certain that I had the, uh, the two triad group names crisscrossed in my mind. He runs, the, he's the dragon head of the Luminous Path, and uh, we finally got to him. We proved to the Luminous Path that we're down, I guess. And, uh, so Tracer Tongue removed our, uh, got rid of the kill switch that was gonna kill us, that, uh, MJ-12 and Verse, and, uh, sorry, Verse of Life, what am I talking about? Uh, Unatco, uh, enacted upon our augmented bodies. So, we've got that taken care of, and now we have a free lease, a new lease on life, and, uh, Actually, we don't. We have a Versa Life mission to go do. They want the Tracer Tongue isn't happy. He, he, we owe him a favor, I guess, for doing that. So he wants us to get the ramen coating for the Dragon's Tooth Sword from the basement laboratories at Versa Life, and he says that this is important because uh, just having the sword alone is not going to uh, keep the triads at peace for very long. They both need access to the um, the ramen coating so that they can manufacture as many dragon tooth swords as they want. That sounds safe, doesn't it? All right, so that's our that's our objective. But uh, since the kill switch is off, I want to look around Hong Kong more because there's so much more to Hong Kong than just where we've been or where we have to go. Uh, the Versa Life building is right through here. VL, Versa Life, nice logo set over a globe there. And we do have a code to get in through here. And a contact inside who supposedly will help us uh, further getting this ROM encoding. But like I said, there's so much more. There's Tanochi Road. Uh, that's another thing we learned in the previous episode. We have heard about Jock's address at Tanochi Road. Look up. I can't remember where I picked that up. Where did I read that? It was in an email. Which I wouldn't be able to access from here, I don't think. <laughs> Hundley. That's our corrupt guy at Versa Life. I'm just going to have a look around Tanachi Road anyway. And maybe we'll run into Jack. Just... What? The was this always here? The last time I needed, I came here. This isn't Tanochi Road, is it? This is sort of a in betweeny thing. That's the road over there. But I needed to get there in a previous episode, and I just jumped over this with my augmentation. I did not realize that there was an easy little footbridge just over this way. That's annoying, and I hate it, but I can't do anything about it now. What are you guys up to? 75. Both 75. Double UO globe. Original one kilo bricks. Pure. 90 for both. Hey, you! Who's that? You made a big mistake, homeboy. What? Oh, hey! No, no, no. No. You do not. Sir. I'm gonna need you to stand down, both of you. Stand down. Stand down. Alright. And I'll loot them now. I'm gonna bet they've got drugs. A 40? Project? What? Okay. I don't need the- I don't need 40s. I'm gonna drop them. I don't need your beer, guys. I'm gonna s smash them up. Can I not smash them? Oh, that is beyond frustrating. What kind of immersive sim is this? Zero out of ten. 
Can't smash up bottles. Vile alcohol needs to be destroyed. My light turned on here. Kind of dark on the streets of Hong Kong at night. A lot of creepy corners. Drug dealers waiting to jump you. You know what? I might as well come down here. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, well. A crate that nobody's uh, guarding. Another one back here. Hell yeah, I get stocked back up on lockpicks. I'll take it. Oh, and we kind of got an, a little path here. Sort of a dock, I guess. That's the thinnest dock in the known universe. Oh, hey. What? Oh. Man, that looked like... that look, This looked more like a cat from back here. Would you disagree? The way it moves around? I don't know. It barks when you click on it. Good evening, sir. Slow night. Not at all. Everyone requires sampan now that the Triads destroyed Canal Road Tunnel. Why'd they do that? Fighting in the tunnel, sir. Five nights ago, now it is caved in and flooded. That must have hurt the shops in Wan Chai. People have died. Yesterday, four Europeans arrived. Treasure hunters. They are here to dive in the ruins and loot the bodies. Must be the year of the vulture. It is an ugly business, but a profitable one. They have given me a commission if I can sell the weapon mods they have already recovered. I have modifications for accuracy, reload, and recoil for 750, 600, and 400. I am going to consider this and come back later. Uh... At some point, we'll open up the inventory and uh, have a look at our guns and decide if, if we can use any of these. Accuracy, reload, recoil. Maybe we'll just later. keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to have a look around your boat, your sandpan or whatever this is, if you don't mind, lady. We'll come up here and have a look at the mast. Or whatever this is called. Looks good. Looks good. You could use a figurehead out front, but I like it. I like it overall. Uh, what about up here? What you got? A cardboard box that's too heavy for me to lift. <laughs> not too heavy. This one's not too heavy. She has a secret room on her boat, guys. And we got skill points for discovering it. And I am absolutely... I got two lockpicks earlier, so I'm still up by one. If I pick into her stuff and steal it. Oh, money. Money, yes. 150 credits. I will take it. I'll throw these boxes out and smash these up. Smash. Smash. Ooh, she's running drugs, and she's got more money. 300, okay, what did I just make? 450 credits? She was selling something for that much, wasn't she? Hold on. Ready to buy? No, 400 for, 400 for a recoil mod. So I'd still be up by 50, and I'd get a recoil mod. Maybe later. I'm unsure if I need one, though, so we'll think about it. Take this. Get topped off on the bioelectric energy. Of course, we're always going to need that. Got all these fun augmentations. When we get to the Versa Life building and do our actual mission, I'm going to be um, trying to employ the spy drone that I got, because we haven't really got to mess with that. What's going on over here? Ah! Took that damn repair bot, oh my god, that we picked up last week and wired him into the engine compartment. Might finally be useful and give us enough power to clear the maritime patrols before it burns out. Now we just have to wait for the harbor master clearance. Close log. Ship's Captain Sun Chun. 
Hmm. Well, we already know about it. That's not new information to me. All that soy food is, though. That's new to me. I could use that. Looks like we might have a med kit back here, too. Yes! Maximum. I love being at maximum of anything. It's just so good. I'm gonna start cutting up all her boxes, too, because... The ones she had in the engine compartment were chock full of goodies. Okay, nothing, nothing. I think we've cleaned this lady out. We might come back and buy her mods. You know what? I could try it. You know what? I could, I could, uh, lift up this crate, maybe. It was too heavy because it had wine on top of it. Did you guys see that? I had my, my muscles activated, but it wouldn't pick up because there was wine on top of it. So I had to pick up the wine, which I am going to now drop, because I don't need it. I was just want I wanted to see this lantern, because now that we know that this one is a uh, secret hiding, then we should probably be checking them all. I also mentioned, I think in the last episode or the one before, uh, about Maggie Chow's apartment, the, the, the secret facility that's tucked in the back of it, you access that via secret lantern as well. What is it with Hong Kong and and secret lantern switches? I don't know. They don't pay me to wonder about these things. I can't remember which direction I came from, guys. I think I'm going this way. Yeah, I have to be going this way. No, I don't have to be going this way. I don't have to be doing anything. Okay, I see. I see. This is just a big circle back here. So we're gonna go this way now. And we're gonna see what's off in uh, this direction. Not for tourists to visit the canals at night. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that, because I've heard it about four billion times already. Look at the sideburn mutton chop shit going on with this guy. I was walking here. Okay, and then you stopped. What are you griping at me for? Not sure. Oh, this, I know her. Okay, this just leads back to... This is just another entrance to Tanachi Road. Which... I've been all over this place. I haven't found... Does Jock live in that... In this building? I don't... I don't imagine he does. Welcome. Shut up! I don't care. No, there's no Jock here. There's no Jock in this building. I don't know why I'm obsessed with trying to find his apartment. I, it, I saw an email and I'm like, did I, have I missed that? Have I just oh, never known it was there? I look around though and I think like the only place you can really go into are the, the, the suites here. Anything else that you can access is just another way of getting in there or leaving. Like we're leaving right now. Through this tunnel. Okay. Now. That. Okay. Nope. Seen that guy. We got some stairs over here. Access to the waterways. The other end. Oh. Let's just go straight into the water. Okay. Why? We ain't doing that, guys. We ain't swimming. Why should we have to? There are plenty of ways to get around. It's all just empty, though, over here. I love this. Just a nice... They try to make Hong Kong seem much bigger than it really is within the... the, the structure of the game. Here, a cardboard box. Smash that up. Binoculars that I don't need. Thank you. Alright, 
come down? What does this all lead to? There's signs and stuff down here, like there's things, but there's not things. Ah! Stop getting wet, JC. There's no need for wetness, sir. That old China hand. Uh, yeah, we can actually get into here. Okay. Yeah, people, people, and a guy that's... Paul Denton, I have the blueprints. I must warn you, I... Oh. Warn me about what? I have made a mistake. Paul's my brother. What's the problem? No, I have made a mistake. Bro, you can't just do that. I'm I'm not an idiot. Guy, what what do you no, know? I am sorry. Okay, no, you're not walking away from me. I must say nothing. They would kill me. Who is they? Bro, I could probably help you. I know Paul. You can trust me. I really am Paul's brother. You said something about blueprints. No, I do not know you. Maybe you work for VersaLife. VersaLife. Good. We're getting closer. You might as well tell me the rest. If I'm gonna kill you, you are already dead. You paid me, okay? I only did it for the money. I have the blueprints of the VersaLife building, 2,000 credits. And I have the other things he wanted. The scrambler grenade for 1250 and the thermoptic camo for 4,000. What did Paul want with VersaLife? All he said was not to get caught and to tell nobody what I did. In the spirit of role-playing, and because I have a lot of credits, I am going to buy the VersaLife blueprints, but I really do feel like they're probably going to be worthless based on that map of Hong Kong that we got in the last episode. That was the most garbage thing we've ever seen. We're going to go for it, though. I'm going to get the VersaLife blueprints. Give me the VersaLife blueprints for 2,000. Excellent. Tell no one. Wow, that's several images worth of blueprints. Let's have a look. VersaLife building, okay. Level 1. New image. Oh, yeah, well, there are, a lot of them are new, yeah. Okay, level one. Here's level one. Lobby. I mean, this is this doesn't look bad. Maybe when we get in there, this will actually be useful. And how many credits am I left with? 49.22. Okay. Okay. Oh, what about you guys? What? What can you tell me about traffic on the canals? I know you. I know who you are. Yeah? You work for the Luminous Path. You should be dead now. Mm, but you left Hong Kong just in time. Do you have me confused with someone else? No, it was you. Miss Chow told us. You are the American who helped them steal the soul. Really, I... You cannot stop the Red Arrow. They will control China as they control Hong Kong. Very soon. Old news, you drunken fool. I've sorted that out. I take care of you. Spatial price. No thanks. Many barkers at old China hand. Everything eight credits. Is there a lot of crime in Hong Kong? Much more than before, yes. Now it's very easy for the smugglers. What kind of smugglers? Slaves, heroin, biotech. Is there really a slave trade? Oh, sure. There's a lucky money underneath Wen Chai, the Red Air headquarters. Of their girls, they are kidnapped in Thailand or the Philippines. Not a pretty business. Jesus. What? I'm going back to the lucky money at some point, and I'm going to have a talk with somebody about that. Holy fuck. What sort of biotech smuggling goes on? Mostly Versalife, the golden triangle of biotech. 
Why would a multinational corporation smuggle their products on sampans? Import restrictions in many places. The United States, European countries. On what? Certain genetic advances, laboratory organisms, also tiny computers in your tissue. What's VersaLife trying to develop? Everything. The second man. The second men? English author. Ola Stepton. You have not read? Afraid not. Last in the first man. History of 19 species of human beings. I can't believe you do not know this book. I'm not big into books. <laughs> very, uh, very smooth, Never JC. Mind. <laughs> I'm not big into books. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna check out your kitchen, guy. Hope you don't mind. Excuse me, I had a cough a million times. Uh, we have soy food. Which I am full up on- how much? What? Okay, ten is the maximum on sto on soy food. Kinda lame. Ugh. Dude, I'm calling a... Health and safety. You shouldn't have dead animals just out on the table like that. No employees doing anything with them. We also have a walk-in freezer with that's not sealed on either side. So the cold, how do you keep it cold? You must be using a lot of energy. I think I do not like the old China Hand restaurant or whatever this is called. Also, the video game logic tells me that there's probably good stuff in those vents since there's a very clear path to get up there. We're gonna come check out uh, back here though, first. What is this? Oh. It's the canals! Yep. There's all the crossing over spots. And here's me, all wet. Jump! Jump, JC, jump! Now, it's time to check out some vent, vent action. It's been a while since we've been in a vent, hasn't it? I feel like, when's the last time we've been in a vent? Uh, probably the MJ-12 facility, huh? All right, well, it looks like stuff is located in this direction. And we got a nice little 50 skill point bonus, 80 on the episode so far. All right, we just got a nice path here. What does this take us to? Maintenance. A maintenance shaft. A flooded maintenance shaft. This must be what that woman was talking about. We've actually read about it too, I think, uh, when we got to Hong Kong or at some point when we were at that newsstand. This might be the time to uh, get these rebreathers, I think, out of my, um, what do you call it, inventory here. I've got two of them. Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and use, we'll use a rebreather and uh, don't we have, um, what are our, uh, damn it, I don't know what augmentations I have. I'm going senile or something. I have aqua lung. To extend my lung capacity. Yes. And skill wise, I think I upped my swimming. Yeah, I just kind of trained myself in swimming. So that I'm not out there flopping around like a child. Uh. So yeah, we'll use a rebreather. And we'll activate. Uh, well, no, we'll we'll just start with the rebreather. We don't no need to do both at the same time. We'll use up our rebreathers, and then once we we'll, once we've used them, we will fall back on our aqua lung. Doom, <laughs> 
I love playing Deus Ex. Okay, I can't get through those pipes. I, I don't understand it. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. Fuck you. Beast. Animal carcass. What the hell kind of animal is that? Okay, we've used up my rebreather, so we'll go ahead and uh activate the, the other one there. Throw down a quick save, because I'm kind of worried now about my survival down here. Turn on the lights. Flip on me lights. What is this? What am I missing here? A tunnel. A tunnel of nothing! What? Is there something off in this direction? Am I stupid? Is there a way up? To surface? I need oxygen! Please! Yeah, there is. There's a tunnel here. I'm just stupid. Oh, go, 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 go. Uh-oh. Well. Fucker. I believe these things are called... Uh, Karkians, or something like that, and I'm sure we have read about them, but I can't, could not tell you where. And I'm not really sure what they're doing down here. I think possibly they might have something to do with Versalife? Hmm? Maybe? Alright, let's have a look around. We've got a book. Damn it. Hey, still. God's got a funny sense of humor sometimes. I'm writing this on the back of an issue of Tomorrow's Scientist. Hundley. Okay, yeah, this is. This is. This will tell us what we need to know. Hundley, uh, who works at Versalife, we've heard of Hundley, sent me to pick up a batch of Karkian eggs fresh off the plane. Couldn't trust anyone else, Dr. Fang. That's what he said. Okay, we've met. I think we've met a Dr. Fang, too. Or heard of one, haven't we? Good God. This this conspiracy, the web. It, it ripples out endlessly. Whatever. Big job. On the way back through the tunnel, everything just fell apart. Flash of light and noise, and suddenly I'm lying here. My legs are broken. It was probably a triad attack. They've been fighting lately. I thought emergency services would arrive, but no one's come. There's no internal bleeding that I can tell. I started to hear noise a while ago. I think the suspension crate in the car broke open and the eggs are hatching. I can't reach anyone on my phone. It's been eight hours. I slept a little. I can hear the baby Karkians. Cries of hunger. Precursor to infant food-seeking behavior. The irony is that this is a perfect environment for them. Oh god. I saw a shadow of one a little ago. My rough guess is they're developing almost 20% more quickly than expected. Some hasty noises earlier, several of the Karkians picking out the weakest of the litter and tearing it to pieces. I wish someone would come. Oh my god. Well, we know what happened to this guy. In detail. Oh! And he's got a bio cell and an augmentation upgrade canister for our uh, enjoyment. That's great. I love it. Now we can get the hell out of here. Which one activates Aqualung? F9. Go swim your butt off, JC Denton. Wiggle it back and forth until you get to oxygen. Well, we got an augmentation upgrade canister. I try to... I've, I've, been, I've left one. I left one before in my inventory. Let's open that up now. Yeah, see, I've got two of them. Oh, and they don't stack either. Eh. That's probably why I did that. I left one because they don't stack. 
but it's nice to have one just in case that there, in case there's something that you need to upgrade like in that moment then you just have like a backup one so we could spend the one that I just got why not what to spend it on though let's see we can upgrade the EMP attack and damage threshold for the drone. We can get a higher strength for the muscles to push push and lift heavier things. That's one of those ones that I'm not that I'll that's one of those ones that's res that, that I reserve this backup canister for because we don't really do a whole lot of lifting. Usually, any lifting I do is just to sort of clear paths around stuff that I don't want to deal with. Uh, ballistic protection is always useful when you don't, we're not always getting shot at, but when we do get shot at, it's definitely nice to have this. And you know what? There, you know, there there could be points where we just have to fight people. And there's not going to be a, 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 a an alternative. So, honestly, any of these things would be good to upgrade, except for the arms. Nah, I mean the. Uh, you know what? Better better speed and jumping and falling damage is always nice as well. Hmm, but lung capacity. We did just. No, that's one of the, that's more of the that's a more circumstantial one like this. I kind of tie these two in the same group. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll put it. I'll I'll use. I'll upgrade my legs once, and uh, we'll test it out now. Woo! We does it make me go faster up ladders? Kinda. Feels like it. Zero. Okay, well. Pretty useful. I can't wait to, uh, you know what? Actually, know what? That No, that's stupid. I was gonna say, wait, let's test it on my, let's go fall off of something and see how much, how much damage I take. That's kinda dumb, isn't it? I guess there's a med bot back at the Luminous Path compound, but why would you intentionally hurt yourself? You'd have to be a madman. I'll close this door. I don't ever want to come back to this place, not after what I've seen. I thought I thought this was gonna do something when I jumped on it. It just sort of sits there. Guess you need a Korok leaf to move any sort of boat in a video game. Now, where are we taken to? We're back in the main market. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen these stairs. Look at me. I'm a big dummy dum-dum. We've looked at this corner probably at some point. We're back in the market now. And here's our favorite, uh, favorite thug. Go away! <laughs> Alright. I'll leave you alone. <gasps> uh, there are, there are these stairs. I never came up here. This is something we can kind of check out. There's like a <sighs> restaurant, I guess. Business in Wang Chai? We already have an arrangement with the Luminous Path. Do you want to do business in Wang Chai? I will not be threatened. Don't think your luminous path can protect you. Get out, now! As you wish, but don't be surprised if you don't pass your next inspection. I know people on the health board. They can't be bought. Perhaps, but they're just like rats. I want to talk to this guy about his contacts on the health board, because uh, old China hand is uh, suspicious to me. Don't hey. be in my business. <laughs> this is one of my favorite voice lines in the game, you guys. It's not matter to discuss. Explain. A disturbance in the tea house. Can you overlook? 100. No injuries. Only a prank. 100. I have 55. 100. 65. 
Okay, 65. This guy is horrible at bartering. That's the, the worst haggling I think I've ever seen. My own business. No, say the other one, please. Stay out of my way. No, say the one where you interfere. Are you looking for trouble? No, I'm not. Come on. I saw you watching. Keep your mouth shut. Just say, don't interfere in my business. Stay out of my way. Stay out of my way. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back in the recording and just watch it over and over. I love when he says, "Don't interfere in my business." Welcome to the lunch IT house. Anything you like, twelve credits. Never mind. Well, that guy doesn't offer anything oh but food. God. What about you guys? Yeah. Wait, oh, yeah. You can be serious. We would offend Manavu if we were to leave so soon. Please. We're having a discussion. Okay. We had the Jiao Si. Very good. I Wait, can't stand filled it. filled with rats? I've got to get out here. They will kill the rats. None of them. I'll kill the rats. You just have to, like, sort of walk over them. It's pretty easy. Come here, rat. I am the rat smasher, the rat slayer. Come here, rat. Get over here, rat. Quit scurrying. All right, we've taken care of your rats. You got anything for me? You? Nope. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, Mr. Lou? Mr. Lou? Mr. Lou? Oh, everybody's shut down up here. All right. Well. I guess that's about it for the markets and the, the larger Hong Kong area. Now we just have Versa Life to do. Actually, you know what? There was all those clubs and stuff downstairs, but we are coming up on time. So I'm going to cut the episode here. And in the next one, we will... We're not going to go to the clubs. We're not going to go to the mall. We'll go to Versa Life. We'll do our mission. And uh, we'll get ourselves squared away with uh, Tracer Tong and the uh, and the triads. So, look forward to that in the next one. Until then, I've been Foggy Senor. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao now.